is inspiring for all you guys out there that want to do something and want to be the best that you can be and want to do the best that you can do. You just never give up because you never know what can happen. You never know who you can inspire and um, who you can influence. My goal was to perform at the absolute best of my ability for that moment in time. I'm an Aborigine and I'm proud of it. It's part of my motivation. Growing up, I wasn't the richest, but I had a rich family and support. Stereotypes are meant to be broken. That's like what I like to say, so let's break them all down. Serena Williams isn't your stereotypical tennis player. Far from the comfort and privilege normally associated with the sport, she was raised in Compton, a part of Los Angeles made infamous by poverty and gang warfare. Growing up, I wasn't the richest, but I had a rich family and, and spirit and, and, and support. I went on the courts with just a ball and a racket and a hope, and, and that's all I had. From a young age, Serena displayed the kind of confidence that would propel her to become one of the greatest of all time. If you were a tennis player, who would you want to be like? Well, I like other people to be like me. <laughs> That's a good answer. Everything from their environment to their finances were stacked against the Williamses. But both Venus and Serena would make it to the very top. To see where we come from out of the worst ghetto, to be here at one, the, the finest club in the world. It's just phenomenal. Other words, if I was writing a script for a movie, I would say it'll never happen. The Williams sisters quite literally turned tennis on its head, bringing a range of shot making and force of personality that hadn't been seen in the women's game before. Olympic champions and gold medalists. Serena won her first singles Grand Slam in 1999 beating the then world number one Martina Hingis in the US Open final just a year after turning pro. Following that US Open win in 99, she emerged from her sister's shadow and drove herself to become the best in the game, underlining it with the Serena Slam, where she won all four major titles in a row, culminating with the 2003 Australian Open crown in Melbourne. Serena beat Venus in all four of those finals. The two little black girls from Compton had grown to be the dominant force in women's tennis. I love winning and I love holding a trophy at the end of the week and I have fun doing it and I enjoy, I enjoy that. And I don't know if that's a weird motivation, but it works. Now recognized as a true legend of the sport, in 2015, she completed a second Serena Slam, was named the AP's Athlete of the Decade in 2019. And she's won almost $100 million in prize money down the years. To achieve this, she's overcome injuries that have ended other careers and a blood clot in her lung that threatened her life in 2011. Time and again, Williams has proved herself to be possibly the most resilient champion to ever grace the court. I would describe Serena as the strongest person I've ever met. She thinks she can achieve anything. Sometimes it can hurt her, but most of the time that makes her what she is. That's her number one quality probably to uh, to believe in herself, even in the most difficult situation. But her success hasn't been without opposition. We're not talking about rivals on the court. In 2001, the Williams sisters were subjected to racist abuse while competing at the Indian Wells tournament. Serena's faced down prejudice from the outset of her career, which has spanned across four decades and two centuries. There's been hate about her hairstyles, what she wears on court, her body, her power, her looks. Serena's resilience in the face of misogynoir, the combination of sexism and racism directed at black women, marks Williams as a champion on and off the court. And it's this strength of character that's inspired so many people, especially women, and women of colour in particular, to view her as a role model. And never greater was her ability to inspire than when she won the Australian Open in 2017. It was her 23rd singles Grand Slam, and she was eight weeks pregnant. This extraordinary achievement is yet more proof of Serena's amazing ability to overcome adversity. Her success and longevity at the top has meant that Serena isn't just one of sport's biggest stars. She's one of the most famous faces in the world and has enjoyed forays in the fashion and business world. And with the power of her platform, Williams has let her voice be heard on things that transcend tennis.
using social media and commercial partnerships to take a lead on issues including racism, gender equality and LGBTQ rights. For her, it's key to positively influence the next generation. It's really important to um, believe in yourself and it's hard in this. I can't imagine growing up nowadays in this time, but I have to imagine because I have a daughter exactly. that's going to grow up in this time. So I kind of need to put myself in that situation and, and what do I want out of that? And so that's how it kind of starts. And then uh, for me, I do have a voice that I can use. And um, how do I use that in a positive way? And she's backed up her talk with action. Serena's charitable initiatives have helped build schools in Kenya and Jamaica and fund university scholarships for underprivileged young people in the US. This work is driven by her personal beliefs and experiences, including her elder sister Yatunde being killed in 2003 by a stray bullet in a Compton shooting. Another challenging moment came when Williams had her daughter Olympia in September 2017. Once again, Serena's life was on the line after complications during childbirth. She spoke bravely about suffering from postnatal depression as she recovered and about the struggles of being a working mother. Yet, like the other hurdles in her life, Serena has used the experience to <laughs> propel her forward. I want to leave a legacy. I want to be this, you know, positive person for my daughter and I just want always to just, everything I do, I want to do it for my daughter and I've never obviously had that motivation before, so it's my motivation now. She's more than tennis. She's bigger than tennis. What I like in her is she's a real personality. She's not flat. I think she's one of the probably top three biggest figure of tennis history. And I think she will give back a lot to, to tennis in the future. Back to fitness, as passionate as ever, and with the will to win burning just as brightly, Serena seeks to cement her status as the best ever. Please welcome Serena Williams. How does it feel to be known as the greatest of all time? It's not enough. Like, I still want to win more. Like, I want that title to be solidified in concrete. The movie script has come true. From Compton's rundown courts to becoming possibly the greatest champion, male or female, tennis has ever seen. Serena Williams is a trailblazer like no other.